it's Debbie from Create Pretty Things. Welcome, welcome to my live tonight. We're going to do a really cute Easter decor tonight. Here I have our Cottontail, Cottontail's Farm and Feeds. Farm and Feed. Look how big this is, 18 by 24. It's big, all right. Um, tonight's keyword, if you want to get the shopping list, is Cottontail, C-O-T-T-O-N-T-A-I-L. Type that into the comments and you will check your messenger and get a shopping shopping list pre-built for you. Now that shopping list does include the Aiden frame, which is the 18 by 24 beautiful magnetic porcelain steel frame that's reusable. Um, you don't have to get that. You can choose any surface that would fit this. And also, this is an 18 by 24 inch transfer, but if you only wanted to do the bunny element, maybe you could go smaller for the frame. But right now it does have the Aiden frame in there. It is gorgeous, guys. And if you order today, there's 20% off, but it's kind of a leap year special. So if you're interested, do that. Um, if you see the red live button up at the top, it means you're watching me live. If not, you're watching the replay, just comment hashtag replay, type that in the comment, just so that I know that you watched. Okay, so let me tell you about this frame that I'm using. This one is not the Aiden, but this is the size of the Aiden. This is a Sylvie that's no longer available, but this one's not magnetic. It's not the porcelain steel. It's, it's a beautiful, reusable surface, but it's not magnetic. Um, I wish it were still available, but it's not. I happen to have one here, and I didn't have my Aiden available. It's got another design on it, and even though they're reusable, I love that design, and I hate to reuse it. So if you get an Aiden or a Sylvie, just know that they are meant to be washed up. You can do it for one season, a beautiful design, use it throughout the season, and then when the next season comes along, you can just spray it with water, use a paste scraper, scrape off that, X, that paste that's old, and wipe it off and you'll get a new surface ready for our new season. Okay, so this is my Sylvie board. And I am going to peel off my transfer. It is reusable, it's sticky. It is um, good for eight to 12 uses, reusable guys. So part of the reusability is making sure you take really good care of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel it down halfway and I don't want to take the whole thing off because I've had problems with it sticking to itself because it is such a large transfer. I'm just going to go ahead and smooth my cloth on half of this. And what I'm doing, this is called fuzzing. I am just trying to lessen the sticky a little bit on this. Now, as I go, I'm going to go ahead and do more. But I notice I'm not creasing this. You don't want to crease it. You just wanna go ahead and do what you can. I'm gonna peel the rest of this off and carefully fuzz the rest. Keep that backer sheet that I just put on the floor. You need that to store it. It is what keeps it in great condition. As you jump on, please say hello. Tell me where you're watching from and what you've been up to on this. Is this Thursday? Wow, tomorrow's already Friday. I don't know guys, time flies so fast for me. It just goes every day. I look up and it seems like it's four o'clock. So time flies. Okay, I'm gonna take my sticky transfer. I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna center it as best I can on this board. Now, it is repositional. So you can lift it. See, I've got a lot of bubbles. It's not quite down there right. I am gonna lift this up and I'm gonna to try to smooth it down. Now these, I don't suggest starting with these as one of your first ever transfers. If you've never used Chalk Couture before, I would start with a small A size transfer and maybe a board and base as your surface. It is also a reusable surface, but use a smaller transfer because these are a little trickier to work with, um, and they are trickier to clean. So if you've never done this before, start smaller. If you get it stuck to itself like this, 
just gently pull it away from each other. You don't want to hurt that silk screen. So just work gently. And if it's a really big mess, take it to your sink under running water and peel it away from itself. So I've got this up. I've got one edge down pretty good. I am just going to go ahead and work a little at a time to smooth this down. You don't want any air bubbles under here. I am feeling some air bubbles. Let me just go ahead and smooth it and we will readjust. Okay, so I see a big bubble right here and I feel a little dot of paste under here. So if you feel anything bumpy, the smallest little piece can affect your transfer. So go ahead and get those bumps, little pieces of dust, dirt, anything that may cause that transfer to have a bubble out of there, out of there. If you have a bubble, oops, if you have a bubble, it's not gonna contain the paste in the screen. It is going to let it bleed out and you won't have that crisp line design that you desire. So take your time with this, guys. Take your time. Lift it as you need to. Relift. Reapply. Get that down without any air bubbles. And I'm feeling like it's not quite centered. And you also don't want to stretch this transfer out. That looks like it's all the way up there. Oh, that's a little high. It's a little high to the top. And since this fits so perfectly, you can really tell whether it's square or not. Okay, that's right up to the edge. Right up to the edge. Okay, let's see if we can get this down. Now, normally I have a really, really big squeegee, which I could use to both smooth this down and to chalk this down, but I don't know where it is. I haven't used it for so long. That's one thing I need on my list is to find that big squeegee. It's big, guys. It's like four inches across, and that would be perfect for this. I'm trying to go from the middle out. There we go. That's looking a lot better. Got a bubble right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a squeegee and I'm just gonna kind of rub over all my silk screen. I wanna make sure I don't have any bubbles because um, while I can repair this pretty easily because it scrapes right off of this chalkboard, it's better if you do it right the first time. So I'm just going to go work out all those bubbles that may be there. There's not too many. It looks pretty good, actually. But I also make sure that it has a good connection to the background so that we don't have any paste smearing. From here, it's gonna be easy, guys. It's gonna be so quick and easy. We're gonna do one color. We are gonna do our bright white, and here it is. So one thing about this is you don't want the paste to dry in the silk screen. You want to peel up when the paste is still wet. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of dot some paste here, 
And like I said, if I had my big squeegee, this would be so quick, but I don't have it. I don't know where it is. But I'm just gonna rub this paste on. It does not take a lot of paste. I'm just gonna smooth it on all these white areas. So where you can see through this silk screen to the background where it looks kind of dark, that's where your paste is gonna go through. And you'll see it more as I go. Right now it just kind of looks like I'm smearing some cream cheese or sour cream or whatever on it. But as I scrape it off a little more, as we get nearer to the end, you'll be able to see it better. So I'm just going, covering as much as I can. I'm trying to work fast because this is a large transfer and I don't want it to dry. So I'm just kind of smoothing it out, taking off any excess paste I have. Now, the thinner the paste is, the quicker it's gonna dry too. So smooth it out. And as I do this, you can probably see more of that design. You can see that it's gone through the screen and you can see it appearing better. And I wanna make sure I always get my edges because I tend to neglect those. When I'm done, I always look and say, oh gosh, I missed that corner. That edge isn't quite done on the side. And so I focus on those. But really you don't want any part of this. Um, you want all that silk screen filled in. Like I said, this is our largest transfer. And so I would not start with this as a beginner. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and smooth this out so it looks like it's a more uh, consistent, um, consistent texture to the top. I'm trying to get some of these lines out. Make it more even. Okay guys, I think we're good. Let me show you what it looks like right now. This is so large. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. You can see how the paste has kind of gone through. Now what I'm gonna do, and I want you to be able to see this. So I'm gonna try and peel this up starting from a corner. This is the big reveal. I'm gonna work my way to the center because I, if I were to stretch just from the corners, it might stretch it out. So I am going to try and peel from the center and I'm just gonna kind of rock it back and forth if I need to. I don't want you guys to be able to see this. Pulling it down evenly. Can you guys see? Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Let me turn it this way. I'm trying not to get my transfer stuck to itself either. Okay, I'm gonna stick this to my surface right here. Let's turn it around. You guys, look at this. I do have a little paste right here that I can clean up. And like I said, this is a reusable surface. It cleans up beautifully. I do have a little bleed right here and I think that's it. And this is our finished project. Now, how long did that take me? Five or 10 minutes? So why wouldn't you do this? Why wouldn't you do this for your home decor? It takes maybe 10 minutes. It's a reusable frame. You can use it over again. When, the, when Easter's done, you can decorate it for summer. Um, whatever you wanna do, it's beautiful. It could be a gift. Now, if you buy the transfer once, you can do many of these. You can do different surfaces that are uh, less expensive. You could do a canvas perhaps and do it in black. It'd be beautiful. You can choose whatever colors you want. I was almost tempted to do this in a pink, um, a very light pink, but I wanted it to pop so I did it in the white. So once again, the link to get all the pro the keyword to get the products that I use tonight is Cotton Tails. C-O-T-T-O-N-T-A-I-L-S. Type that in the comments and check your messenger. It'll present you with a shopping cart already built. 
You don't have to buy anything. You can just look at it. You can change it up. You can ask me any questions that you want. So take a look at it. If you're interested in uh, any other purchases, please just check out my website. We do have a new program launching on March 5th, uh, whereby it's a membership program where you can get discounts. So we'll be spreading that news on the 5th. I hope you listen to it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. And if you know of anyone else who would love this kind of project, would like to see how it's done, please feel free to share this video. Please like and follow my page. The hearts and the comments help me out so much. And if you're watching the replay, type hashtag re replay, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Look at my fingers. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.